What's up, everybody? What the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only, Bird Martinez, bitch. Bird Martinez, bitch. Okay, so first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching me. Like, I've been getting more subscribers, and I'm like, hell yeah, bitch. I mean, it's not all about fucking subscribers, but you know, it feels good when you're, like, doing something, and people are watching you and shit. But anyways, today I'm going to make tostadas. They vegan friendly and I'm gonna make tostadas de carne asada so for this recipe you're going to need tortillas like I'm always eating tortillas you're gonna need tortillas look at this big ass pack you're gonna need tortillas I'm also gonna make some guacamole for the um, tostadas so you're gonna need some avocados I got like five of them the big ones I need some, some carne asada um, some cilantro, some cheese, motherfuckers. The other day I went to buy some cheese, right? And I I was on a budget and I was like, oh, well, anyway, they all look the same. They all, they're just different brands. So I go look and I buy this other cheese, right? And so I'm making quesadillas and the cheese won't melt, okay? So I'm like tripping out. I'm like, how the fuck does cheese not melt? And then I go look. So this is the brand that I bought. It looks like cheese, doesn't it? But it's not melting. And I checked the ingredients and it's water, palm oil, modified food starch, whatever, whatever. Nothing with milk. It doesn't even have milk. And then I read it and it says imitation, mozzarella cheese. Meaning it's not cheese. So next time I'd rather pay two, three dollars more or whatever to get the real deal, bitch. Cause I don't know what the fuck I was giving my kids. Anyways, I know I'm getting all over the place. Also, you're going to need some beans, pinto beans, whatever beans you like. I'm using pinto beans. And let's get this shit popping, motherfuckers. Let's do this. So, when you are cooking, it is very important to have a sharp knife. This is how I sharp my shit. Go like this. It's simple. Some people get it wet or whatever, but I just do that and look at that shit. Sharp as fuck. Okay, motherfuckers, so I got my meat. Oh, I told you. This is how it looks. And I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And I might make little lines like this. And then, <laughs> my little neighbor, he's always like, La Erika. That's how he calls me. La Erika wants leche. La Erika quiere esto. I always ask my neighbor for like stuff like salt or sugar, milk. But she also comes through. Like whenever she needs something, I help her. Anyway, so you're going to cut it in line. And then you're going to cut it the other way like this. It's simple. You could also buy it pre-cut. Pre it depends how much money I got. How much time I got. So today I have time. I have time. I'm just gonna cut it like this. And then I'm gonna use my seasoning that I would use. There you go. Chef Merito, I'm gonna move out. And you're just gonna go like that. And you're gonna cook the rest. So I got my meat seasoned and ready to cook. It's on high. High as fuck. Okay, so now we're gonna make our little guacamole thingy, whatever. I'm not gonna make my guacamole like I always make it. Like I always put tomato and onion and all that bullshit. I'm just gonna make some basic ass um, guacamole today. But trust me, it's gonna be bomba. Bomba para bailar esta es una bomba. <laughs> so you're gonna go like this. And you're gonna cut it long ways. And then this way. How do you say that? Lateral. I don't know. You guys understand me. Now you're gonna get a spoon. Oh, you're also gonna need some, li some limones. These are the lemons from my tree. Look how different they are. Like big ass one, little ass one. And these are the lemons that I bought from the cucaracha. Hey, wait. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. My cucaracha. La cucaracha. Yeah, no puede caminar. And then this is wet, so you're gonna take it out and do the same thing over again. 
Um, if you see like little parts like that that are dark, it's okay. You know, just keep it going. Damn, this one's like ready. This one was ready to go. Something like that. And then I'm gonna put it. Okay, now that I have all of them in there, I'm gonna like blend this bitch with a fork. Just press it down like this. And kind of mix it up. I want it more watery, so I'm gonna add lemon. Also, the lemon's good so it doesn't um turn black or go bad. I've tasted it when it gets all dark and shit, and it's just it's not as fresh. It tastes kind of funky. But I didn't want to throw it away. I was like, fuck it. Then my avocados are expensive as fuck. Okay. Like that. I'm trying to get the damn seed. Too late. It went in there. Oh no, here it is. Okay, so just mix this bitch like so. I think it's funny when people are like, oh my god, why do you curse so much? Really? I don't know what the big deal about cursing. I seriously do not understand it. I think because I've cursed all my life. I think puta was my first word. So to me, it's like breathing. So I don't understand what the big deal is. All these motherfuckers talk about property and shit. And have a fucking... They have like a, a body in their basement or some shit like that. So to me, I don't give a fuck how people talk. It's the actions that matter. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. These things are so big and juicy. I water my trees and shit. Now we're gonna add some salt and some black pepper. Like so. And then mix it up and we're gonna cut up some chiles and some cilantro. Cilantro, güey. Un cilantrito, puti. So here's my cilantro. Always make sure to wash the cilantro because for some reason it always has dirt. And wash it with cold water because if you wash it with hot water, it like cooks. I'm, I'm like, I know it's obvious and shit, but like, you know, some people don't know. I'm just, you know, trying to put that in my hair. Food. I know it's obvious, but... I'm just trying to teach you guys, you know? Maybe some people don't know. So I'm just going to cut up the cilantro. Cut it up as small as you can. It's okay if you have to go through it like twice or three times. And also use the stem. I know some people throw it away. But the stem is very, 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 very good. One of my favorite parts of the cilantro. Like I said before, wash it because... <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I kind of washed it. And I remember one time I was eating it. Mario was eating. And we could taste the dirt. And I was like, oops, sorry. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Wash that. Then I add the cilantro. Mix it up. Yes. The other cilantro I'm going to use for the tostada. Okay, so now we're going to put the chile. A trick that I have to know if a chile is hot or not hot, you cut it, right? And then you smell it. If it has that, like, grassy smell, it's not that hot. If it, like, when you smell it and you're, like, like, it, it like, fucks with your, if you know a little bit, it's hot. So, um, if you, if you like hot food, add, like, five serranos. If you don't, just add one or two for flavor. Like I said, I like to taste my food. I don't like hot ass motherfucking food that makes my fucking asshole burn. I don't want that shit. You guys could keep that shit. Fuck that. I understand what motherfuckers take. Eat hot ass motherfucking food. When I was little, I would like force myself to eat hot food. Because my friends would be like, oh, you know, you're not a real Mexican if you don't eat hot food. You're not a real Mexican. Man, fuck that. Bitch, I know I'm a real ass motherfucking Mexican. I don't do shit to prove it. Anyways, I talk too much. So you're gonna cut it in four, like this. One, four, one, four, one, two. And it's gonna turn into four pieces, right? And then you just cut the rest like this. <laughs> one, four. Oh my God. 
getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take up all your clothes. I'm getting so hot. Time to take my clothes off. Okay. Like this. Like that. Like this and like that. And like that. Uh -uh. Okay. I'm just go through it again like this. We're just gonna add it to a little mixture right here. Okay, motherfuckers. So the meat is ready. See how pretty that looks? So now we're gonna make the Okay, so we're gonna make the tostadas, right? So for that you're gonna need some oil, some masola, or whatever you use. Get yourself one of these, like a drainer, so when you put the tostadas in here, the how do you call it? The fried tortilla? Yes. And for this, you know how sometimes you heat up some tortillas and you don't eat them because you're already full? The lotes are here. You could get like an old tortilla that's already heated and use it. They work better. Like the other day I went to Pollo Loco and they gave me a bunch of tortillas and we didn't finish them. So I saved them and I said one of these days I'm going to make chilaquiles or something. See? So, I'm not making chilaquiles, but I am making tostadas. The lope guy is like standing right in front of the house because we always buy them, but I'm not, not too. Okay, so I got my oil. Now I'm going to put it on my comal. The comal is right there. I'm going to put some oil on it. Like so. And then we're going to put the tortillas. Up in here, up in here. Okay. So you're gonna let them cook, right? Once they start turning brown like this, you're gonna flip that bitch over. Flip that bitch over. And you could buy those salads, but if you make them, bitch, let me tell you something. That is bomb ski. So when you're done, you want it to look like this. And it's gonna drip because it has oil on it. So that's why I said put it on a drainer so it could finish dripping. Dripping. When they're hot and shit, like when they're barely out of the whatever, you know, put a little bit of salt so the salt sticks. So we got everything ready, the tostadas, the guacamole, the meat, the beans, the beans are right here. And I'm also gonna have to- Now for the fun part, we're gonna dress these bitches up. Like I said, I'm gonna make a regular one and a vegan one or whatever. So you're gonna put the beans like this. Like, mm, like if it was mayonnaise or some shit. See how nicely they just go on top. Okay, now on one of them, I'm gonna add the meat. And the other one, no meat. And then cilantro. Cilantro. And then the avocado. Guacamole. So, see? Only because it's beans, it doesn't mean that it's not good. Trust me, it's going to be bomb. And also have some salsa from the other day, from yesterday. Add it like this a little bit, just for extra flavor. Mmm, that's amazing. Then on this one, I'm gonna add some cheese, like this. And I decided to add some tomato on the vegan one because you know, for more flavor. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so first I'm gonna try the carne asada one. Let's do this, bitch. Bitch. Hell yeah. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That's just bomb ass. It's fucking amazing, bitch. I really need to try this for real. Now I'm gonna try the vegan one. Oh. This one looks so good. Let's do this. Hell yeah. It came out really good. Hi, Mario. We're like running around. I really recommend this one because the beans, the beans give it life. It's just refried beans. Hell yeah, babe. Okay, motherfucker. So that's it. I hope you like this recipe. Try it out. You know, you never know. 
But anyways, tell my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. I love you guys. Peace.